All right, all right, all right. Hello. One and all. Hello, everybody. Hard eyes. Hard eyes, everybody. How's it going? I hope you're doing well. I'm hoping you're having a wonderful Thursday evening. It is I, Ape of the Hour. Human Gorilla Hybrid Extraordinaire. <laughs> Back at it again in Silent Hill. I've just taken 30 Benadryls and I'm ready to go. <laughs> not, not earnestly, not earnestly, no. In fact, I'm, I'm trying to do the opposite. I don't want to try to fall asleep. I'm, I'm drinking some Dr. Pepper to try and stay awake, but it's been a long day. But other than that, I'm doing quite well. I hope you folks are doing well as well. Without any further ado, I think we're going to jump right into it. Let me just switch. Well, let me turn the music off firstly. And turn that down, thank you very much. And then we're going to switch over. Listen to you in the background while I sort some stream stuff out. Oh, no problem, Cracky Dog. I look forward to your first stream. I want to be among your audience members. So I'm looking forward to that. For me, you premiere at noon, which is like the perfect time. <laughs> so I look forward to seeing you stream. It's going to be awesome. I, I, I can already tell it's going to be awesome. But anyway, let's get into some Silent Hill. Continue where we left off here. Let's see, James, where were you going, Mr. Sad Boy? I think, yeah, we got the White Chrism, which is over here. Let me take a look at our inventory here for a moment. Let me get the cursor off the screen. The Old Man Coin. A glass, a glass bottle containing a milky white anointing oil. Interesting. Our flashlight. I don't know why we didn't turn it on. Let's see, we have a radio. We got our photo of Mary. We got a coin. So that's about as far as we got. Let's see. There's nothing in the bookshelf that looks like it would be of any use. That's a darn shame. Oh! While we're here... There's something written on the desk. To the right is the lady, to the left is the old one, and the center crawls the other. Just two spaces remain, but fear not for now. The puzzle is done. The puzzle is done. All right, so I know what I ought to do with one of these. I ought to put the old man coin in the leftmost space, so right there. Now we need the rest. Trying to work. There's a bug down there. And something else. I'm gonna kick ya. See? I told you I'd kick you. Alright, let's take a gander here. Do not have a map of this area. Well, isn't that just grand? Fat lot of good that did us, James. Let's see. Uh, nothing in there. Locked. Locked. There we go. That's one nuisance, nuisance solved. Locked. I think there's a map in the lobby area down here. If I'm not mistaken. Could be wrong. Let's see. Or wait, no, we... We went down here initially. Wait. Aha! 
There it is. Blue Creek Apartments. That's where we are. That's where we are. All right, let's see. We already explored up here. We have one locked room. The space that goes over to the other apartments, the whichever ones. All right, we're going to go back down here. Go back down to the first four. Let's see. Locked, locked, locked. Oh, ho. Where are all of you? Let's see. Room 109, on the other hand, which is. It's 105. 104, so I think it must be this way. Yeah, it won't open. Feels like some power is holding the door closed for now on the other side. Almost as if I need to find something or someone before it'll let me in. Interesting. Well, I don't know what that could be, James. Well, did we check the third floor? Let's go check out the third floor. Uh, where is... There's the door. Second floor. Oh, there is no third floor. It's locked. Oh, let's check out the second floor some more. Doesn't hurt to take a little looky loo. That's where we were. I think the key is in that room that we need the coins to open everything. Well, this is taking a little while to load. Okay, so this is where we saved. I think. It is over. Oh no, this is where we entered into the apartment complex. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe one there. What could there be? Man, that wind howling is very unsettling. Oh, you know, did we open this already? I can't remember. Let's check our, the memo. Oh, that thing, the puzzle is done, the puzzle is done. Uh, what is the combination to this? I'm trying to remember if there's a note or something somewhere that we get that has the exact numbers on it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. These are some nice footprints. Are Let's see, maybe. 
Maybe we have to go back down to the first floor. Maybe there's something I missed. Can't open it. This is where I've had the white chrism. This is where the whole puzzle thing is. And this is where I saved last time. Hmm. Sorry, I pressed the wrong button. I don't have any other clues. Hmm. A moment, folks. I gotta see something. Well, it doesn't look like the safe is of any significance. I was trying to remember if there was something important in there, but I just had to go check real quick. All right, I guess we just gotta stumble around in the dark some more. I know how much of a fan I am of that. Map again. Floor nine, the ninth door is locked. Hmm. Let's go check out the laundry room. Nothing really at display here. Maybe we can check out the laundry room up here. Flipped this washing machine over. I don't know who, what kind of insidious creature would do that. Hmm. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, that's how I got into the apartment. Um. Okay. I mean, I'm going to go back to the other com apartment complex. Maybe there's some stuff that I missed. Is it this door, or... Uh, this is just a locked one. I know this one down here is locked, for now. Let's see. 203, okay. 
Let's go. Such a strange angle. All right. Oh, well, it says I want to go to that room. Did I not check on the stuff that was falling through? I swear I did last time I played this through. Hey look, I rhymed. Now I want to eat a lime. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. The police announced that the day that Walter Sullivan was arrested on the 19th of this month for the murder of Bru... So good. Hmm. Yeah, I think I already went through there. The first floor thing is locked. Did I go through that clock, the clock door thing over there? I think I did. This is just me for, for most of the stream just retracing my old steps. That guy is dead, and then we moved this clock and accessed this room. There's a save point. Nothing there. Weird. I can go in here. And explore places. I wonder if we could go to the first floor. Ah, oh, gold darn it. We cannot. How about the third floor? Does not look like we explored. Yeah, we didn't really explore many of the doors over here. Let's change that. Okay, that's locked. Locked. Open. Oh my! Um. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, you may want to close your eyes, chat. It's the dude that this game is, is known for. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Cracky. I was wondering when this scene was going to happen.
Well, that seemed to get rid of him. I don't, it doesn't seem like he likes to be shot very much. Alright, let's see. Oh, we got the courtyard key. Excellent. Nothing there. Let's see. Uh, anything else in this immediate vicinity other than, you know, some brutalized corpses? Hmm. Doesn't appear to be so. I'll shoot through with tiny slits, I know, right? There's never a problem that cannot be solved with enough gun. I don't know about that, Goron. Goron. Oh, goodness. Let's see. Let's try room 304. That is locked, too. Well, at least we got the key to the courtyard. Which, if I'm not mistaken, I think we can take these stairs down and enter the courtyard that way. Mayhaps. We shall see. Oh, never mind. It just... This one just opens up right here. I want a whole session of betrayal on the House of Hill board game with a li liberal ap application of a 30 revolver. Very based. Uh, you know. I'm mess messing with you. Let's see. Okay, that looks... Okay. Gotta go out and around. Um, I can check out the courtyard. Sounds like some folks are going for a swim. Here's something funny, folks. If you run off the ledge, James will fall in. Oh. <laughs> I got the snake coin. Ouch. <laughs> Who wouldn't love to go for a nice swim in the haunt in Silent Hill? I think there's more items around this area. I could be wrong. It was a. I'll keep off the grass. Sorry! Alrighty, let's see. This door has surely got to be open. It is! And more creatures! Somebody's puking. I told you, dude, not to drink that much beer. This is your own. This is your own dang fault. Oh god, it's really grotesque. I'm sorry for folks that are sensitive to vomit noises. <laughs> Hey there. Ugh. They're really guttural, too. Do what? I didn't do anything. I swear. He was 
like this when I got here. My, uh, my name's James. <clears throat> James Sunderland. Um, Eddie. <clears throat> Eddie. <clears throat> Who's that dead guy in the kitchen? I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill anybody. We're not friends with that red pyramid. Red pyramid thing? I don't know what you're talking about. Honest. But I did see some weird looking monsters. They scared the hell out of me, so I ran in here. Well, I guess this place isn't too safe either. What happened here anyway? I don't know. I'm not even from this town. I just... I just... <sighs> you too, huh? Something just brought you here. Right? Um, yeah, you could say that. Well, whatever it is, I think you better get out of here soon. I'll leave as soon as I'm done here. Eddie, be careful. Be careful and take some gosh darn Pepto Bismol. You be careful too. He's throwing his guts off. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, yeah, there's that dead guy. That Eddie was talking about. Hmm. Oh well. Locked. So we came in. Can't open it. Uh oh. James, please. Ammo here. I'll take that. Ooh. <laughs> I've seen my viewer count like dropped after like, like two people just after Eddie like puking his guts out. I'm sorry, it's part of the game. <laughs> I didn't mean to drive people away. Let's see. Um, is there anything else in this room? I don't think I can go through this door. I don't think I can go through this door. And nothing seems to be in the kitchen. Nothing inside. Welcome to Silent, Silent Hill. Silent Hill, a quiet little lakeside resort town. We're happy to have you. Take some time out of your busy schedules and enjoy a nice restful vacation here. Row after row of quaint old houses, a gorgeous, gorgeous mountain landscape, and a lake which shows different sides of its beauty with the passing of the day, from sunrise to late afternoons to sunset. Silent Hill will move you and fill you with the feeling of deep peace. I hope your time here will be pleasant and your memories will last forever. Editor Roger Windmark. Windmark. I don't know about that, sir. Really nothing else in here? I figured there'd be more in here to offer. Come on. Oh, it's locked. No. 
Now it's unlocked. Oh, there we go. Now we can go back through there from the other side. Or rather, we can... I think this is the... Yeah, we're in the upper floor here now. Alright, let's see. What do we have available? Other than that key. Hmm. Heading back down there. Feels like there are some more places yet to be explored. This room included. Could be wrong. Let's see. Uh, let's go around this way. To hell. Interesting. Hey there, Gorsh. How you doing? Glad you could join me. Just playing some Silent Hill 2. Quite baffled at the moment as where to go. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's explore. Let's let's check things out. Okay, that guy's dead. Let's see if Eddie is still in there. Oh yeah, he is. Are you still here? Yeah. I feel kinda sick. I'll be okay soon. You should get out of this town when you can. Yeah, I know, but... Oh. Oh, wait. <laughs> this is how I entered in. Uh. Uh. I guess we can go put that sneak thing in there. Eh, he's just there to throw up, I think. That's his job, that's his whole purpose in this dang town. save here real quick. White man jump scare. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna go to those other apartments. Hello, Diggy. How you doing? Glad you could join me. Now, this very intense scene of crossing between one apartment building to another apartment building. And here we are. Intense. It really is intense, yeah. Alrighty. Alright, we gotta put the snake in here. But 
now what? One moment, folks. Wait a minute, did, did I not visit this, this room yet? Hmm. Uh-oh. <gasps> it's Angela. Oh, it's you. Yeah, I'm James. Angela. Angela, okay. I don't know what you're planning, but there's always another way. Really? But you're the same as me. It's easier just to run. Besides, is what we deserve. No, I'm not like you. Are you afraid? I... I'm sorry. It's okay. Did you find your mother? Not yet. She's not anywhere. Did she live in this apartment building? I don't know. Hmm. So... All you know is she lived in this town. What did you <laughs> say? How do you know that? Well, I just figured, because this is where you're looking for her. How else would I know? Yeah. Am I right? I'm so tired. So, why did you come to this town anyway? I... I'm sorry. Did... did you find the person you're looking for? Not yet. I'm not a sad sack like you. Her name's Mary. She's my wife. I, I'm sorry. It's okay. Anyway, she's dead. I don't know why I think she's here. She's dead? Don't worry. 
I'm not crazy. At least, I don't think so. Uh, I've got to find my mama. Should I go with you? This town's dangerous. Now I know what you meant back there, there in the cemetery. I'll be okay by myself. Besides, I'd just slow you down. What about that? Will you hold it for me? Sure. No problem. If I kept it, I'm not sure what I might do. Good there, mister. I hope Angela's okay. Let's look at the knife here. Let's go back. I guess that was the room we need to unlock. Or that was unlocked, rather. By some strange force. Which I guess turned out to be Angela all along. Alright, room 105 is where we're going. Linehouse key. Interesting. But what does that open? Let's see. Ah, this must be the key mentioned in the note and the one the the one that says with left with Uncle David. I see. It said unlocks the room. Oh, yeah, we have to go to the second floor again and unlock that room. Which I think is somewhere over here. There was like a note left on one of the doors. here. Yeah, some more. <laughs> I heard some whispering. What a quaint little kitchen. James, there's a letter there too. Unless you don't want to read it. So let's save here. Let's see, what's this key we just picked up? 
North side stairway. I see. Well, we have to go to the north side stairway, I suppose. Much so, Casper. It's all dingy and gross. Finally, we're out of that dang apartment complex. And back on the streets of Silent Hill. We're not that far away from Rosewater Park. Just listening as I work. Hope your Thursday is going well. You, yours too, Quinn. I hope you're having a good one. Hey, Laura. You. It was you, wasn't it? You're the one who stepped on my hand. I don't know. Maybe I did. What's a little girl like you doing here, anyway? Huh? Are you blind or something? What's that letter? None of your business. You didn't love Mary anyway. Wait! How do you know Mary's name? <sighs> Kids, am I right? Water Park. So this is that park. Mary, are you here? Now I think the design of Rosewater Park is really cool because it, with this fog and stuff, it looks like so medieval. Like we're walking along some ancient ramparts or something like that. I like the this area a lot. Uh, James is looking at something. Some ammunition. Always a good thing to have. And some med kit stuff. Well, let's see, will we find Mary here? Check something. Okay. 
We're good. Mary? No, you're not. Do I look like your girlfriend? No, my late wife. I can't believe it. You could be her twin. Your face, your voice, just your hair and clothes are different. My name is Maria. I don't look like a uh, ghost, do I? See? Feel how warm I am? You're really not Mary. I told you. I'm Maria. Sorry. I was confused. Where are you going? I'm looking for Mary. Have you seen her? Didn't you say she died? Oh, yeah. Three years ago. But I got a letter from her. She says she was waiting in our special place. Hmm. And that's here? Anyway, I haven't seen her. Is this your only special place? Well, there's the hotel too, I guess. The one on the lake? I wonder if it's still there. The Lakeview Hotel? Yeah, it's still there. Hmm. So, the hotel was your special place, huh? I guess so. I'll bet it was. Don't get so mad. I was just joking. Anyway, it's not that way. It's this way. <laughs> Thanks for the naked white woman jump scare. Coming with me? You were gonna just leave me? No, but... With all these monsters around? No, I just... I'm all alone here. Everyone else is gone. I am properly hydrated, Mongo. Thanks for asking. I look like Mary, don't I? You loved her, right? <laughs> or maybe you hated her. Don't be ridiculous. So it's okay? Yeah, fine. I don't know about you, but I'd find it kind of weird that this woman that I just met keeps on comparing herself to my dead wife. <laughs> if I don't know about you, but if I were James and my like, hey lady, uh, you're really creeping me out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the heck out of Dodge. I don't even know. I don't know this place. <laughs> this is surprisingly seductive. Yeah, Maria is surprisingly seductive. There are many theories as to who Maria is exactly is she like the manifestation of James's like rep like repressed sexual urges is she the manifestation of Mary's desire to be much more sexier or attractive um while she was on her deathbed well, there's a lot of theories um or she could just be another person that just happens to be mixed up in all of this Which, by the way, where? Oh, you're right behind me. Okay. Like, where the heck is Maria? <sighs> oh, there's something over here. Oh, it's a monster. <laughs> Wanna give your monkeys a review? Ha 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 ha. For those that don't know, Mungo is a very good friend of mine, and we watched the first Silent Hill movie together. Um, it was okay. You know, I was expecting it to draw more inspiration from the f second game, but it turned out it drew more inspiration from the um, th first and third game, and then also, like, used a ton of the music from the, the second game. <laughs> uh, but it was okay. 
It was a, it was a, it was a very, uh, very, very decent horror film. If at times a bit indulgent, especially towards the end. James, I wanted you to kick that guy, not shoot him. What's wrong with you? There we go, that's what I'm looking for. There's a gas station up here that I need to stop by at. Let's see if I can. Aha! Aha, there we go. The Book of Lost Memories. The name comes from the legend of the people whose land was stolen from them. They called this place the Place of the Silent Spirits. By spirits, they meant not only their dead relatives, but also the spirits that they believed inhabited the trees, rocks, and water around them. According to legend, this was where the holiest ceremonies took place. But it was not the ancestors of those who now live in this town that first stole the land from these people. There were others who came before. In those days, this town went by another name, but that name is now hopelessly lost in the veils of time. All we know is that there was another name, that for some reason the town was once abandoned by its residents. Interesting. Very interesting. So that's another key item in the rebirth ending, which is what I'm trying to get. The next one that I'm trying to get is in like the uh, um, uh, Silent Hill Historical Society. So that's going to be a ways off. But anyway, where are we going here, Maria? Let's see. Um, I think we are going to head down the street. I think there's a bowling alley or something over here that we have to go to. Yeah, here. I'll wait here. I hate bowling. <laughs> I didn't come here to play, you know. Hurry back. Okay. Imagine if you hated bowling so much you couldn't stand the sight of being in a bowling alley. So what'd you do? Robbery? Murder? Nah, nothing like that. Ha! Huh, you're just a gutless fat. Wow, rude, Laura. What you say that for? I know, right? I thought you said the cops were out for you. No, I just ran because I was scared. I don't know what the cops are doing. But if you did something bad, why don't you just say you were sorry? Well, I guess I run away a lot too. It's no good. They wouldn't listen. Nobody will ever forgive me. Did you find the lady you're looking for? What's her name? Mary? Now, what freaked me out when I first played this game is I thought Eddie was talking to me. Uh, I'm like, oh, he's talking to Laura, actually. Coming, coming up is one of my friend Seth's favorite lines in the game. Oh, um, you're James. We met in the apartment building. Yeah, I remember. But uh... are you alone here, Eddie? Um, no. Bye bye. Come back, Eddie. Let's go after her. Huh? Laura. But why? Laura. Is that her name? That's what she said. This town is full of monsters. How can you sit there and eat pizza? <laughs> How can you sit there and eat pizza? 
that so like me would just slow her down. Forget you. Enjoy your pizza, Andy. All right, let's see what Laura's up to. Maria. Oh, there she is. Did the little girl run out of here? Yeah, she was too fast for me. Aren't you gonna go after her? Zoom, zoom, zoom! Zoom, zoom, zoom! <laughs> oh, goodness. Where could she have gone? She went through there. Is there any other way? Yeah, there is. Right <laughs> through there. Why is Maria's? Why is Maria always so seductive? It's no good. Even like, watch how she unlocks this door. She's just sticking her butt out. Taking something out of her bra. <laughs> like, what was that all about, Maria? <laughs> Didn't really need all that song and dance. I don't know. Oh, I love this song. Heaven's Night, Paradise. There's a health kit over here. Oh! It's a strip club! <laughs> strip club? Oh, Maria's already there. Yes. Over there. What I think, as soon as I find a save room, I think I'm going to call it here, folks, but I'll have to find a save room. I'm sorry, Maria. There we go. All right, folks. I'm going to save here. And I'm going to call the stream here. Let's see if there's someone we could raid. Hmm. Let's see. Who amongst my good, good buddy pals is streaming? Hmm. 
I don't know. Well, it looks unfortunately like I don't have anybody to raid. So, folks, we're just going to call it here. I want to thank you all for joining me for this lovely, lovely evening. I hope you have a wonderful rest.